Hello and welcome here to Kanata, Ontario for today's game matching up the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Ottawa Senators. Today's game is the last game of the season for the Leafs and if the Ottawa Senators do not win tonight, they are eliminated from the playoffs. But now, getting into the tail of the tape, we're giving the Senators this one for the, for the only fact that if the Senators lose tonight, they are eliminated and I think that the Leafs, as they already have locked a playoff spot, will not be pushing as hard for the win. Now for injuries, both teams have three injuries. Leafs are without Gunnarsson, who's out for another few days. Jonathan Bernier still out with his fractured collarbone. He's out for a couple more games. And Morgan Riley, who strained his hamstring, will be playing. The Senators are missing Kyle Turris, Eric Carlson, and Cody Ceci, all for lengthy amounts of time. And all the Leafs players will be healthy for the playoffs. Now starting goalies James Reimer is in, as he has been for the past few weeks in place of Bernier's injury. And Craig Anderson is starting for the Sens, 31 wins. And we're just about set to get underway here. We have been have gone 5-5-0 in the last 10. And the referee drops the puck and we're underway. Mark Mathot with the puck. He's going to take a low shot on goal and not stop easily by Reimer. Van Riemsdyk, bounce pass, not a bounce pass, sorry, a pass off the boards is off the mark and that is icing. Kessel is looking for two more points to get that point per game average. Ottawa's last few games have created some problems for and them. it like really is a possibility. 81 games, 80 game. points. Today's is 82nd. It's always a possibility. Up. Bobby Ryan with the puck. Got the puck on the stick and moving we just have to be careful of him. Bobby Ryan takes a little shot and goal in that stop. Ben Reemsdyke up to Kessel. Kessel Two on one, Kessel takes a shot and that's blocked. Yurkoc loses the puck. Bozak. In the middle of Kessel's unable to bury that one. A nice save from Craig Anderson. Mika Zabinijad up to former Leaf Clark MacArthur. MacArthur gets poked. And now Fnuff tries chopping it up to Lupo, but that does not make it there. Franzen. Up to Kadri, Kadri's pass in the middle is intercepted, but now Fran's in again. Now up to Kadri again, and that passes off the mark. Eric Greiba, up to Alish Hemsky. Hemsky gets crushed along the boards, but now Spezza, <coughs> excuse me, Spezza trying to take a shot, rebound. Where's the puck? Enough has it, no, McCulloch has it now. Milan McCulloch. Finding with it, Mark Mathot takes a shot, and that's blocked by Clarkson. Back into the Ottawa zone and around to Phillips. Chris Phillips over to Mark Mathot and back to Phillips. Phillips up to Spezza, back to Mathot. And that pass is intercepted and batted back down into the Ottawa zone. Raymond giving chase, now Phillips. Up to Alex Hemsky and across to Mathot, who gives a stretch pass to McCulloch Milan. And McCulloch, who takes a slap shot. And that one nearly bobbled in James Reimer's glove and nearly went in. But now Raymond up to Bolin. Bolin Deacon tries to put it back in the middle, but that is a pit off the mark and behind. Nikolai Kuhlman. Kuhlman takes a slap shot, and that's why. Chris Neal. Chris Neal dumps it down. TJ Brendan getting some games in the absence of Carl Gunnarsson. In front, and that's wide, barely, and McClement will dump that one around. And that will be covered up by Reimer now. No, he throws it out to Gardner. Gardner does a bit of a spin move. And now McLaren up to McClement. McClement takes a shot, but that's stopped by Anderson. Now McClement in front. And then that's a nice backhander. But that is gloved easily by Craig Anderson. It's a nice fourth line pressure from the Leafs. But unable to capitalize. A nice backhander, trying to go far side on Craig Anderson, just wasn't able to get it far enough. Fourth line out for the Sens. Bozak wants to draw back to Riley, whose shot is blocked. Van Riemsdyk into the middle, it gets destroyed! Daniel Winnick, the new acquisition for the Sens, acquired at the trade deadline. But now Condra dumps it down. Riley giving chase. Morgan Riley. Up to fill the thrill, Kessel. Kessel takes a shot, and that's stopped. Rebound! 
It is pads. It had a nice stop by Anderson. Castle was robbed twice. Now three times on the day. And now that's just completely unlucky as... Oh, barely misses. Barely. The first shot was stopped. And then the second one. So close for Castle. He just barely... He just barely missed. Catcher giving pressure on Merck for thought. Now Zach Smith and then in the middle takes a shot. That's a nice glove save from James Reimer. Now Lupul on the counterattack up to Nazem Kadri. Kadri takes a slap shot and that's stopped. Kneel around to Phillips. Phillips being pressured and that's the end of the period. A scoreless game so far. Kessel has had some chances trying to reach that 82 point mark. Will he be able to do it in this game? We'll find out in the next two periods. But nonetheless, some good offensive pressure from both teams. But saves like this has kept it a 0 0 game. Hello and welcome back to the scoreless game in Kanata, Ontario. The Leafs have had some offensive pressure, as has the Sens. But Kessel still looking to get those two points that could put him at the pivotal point per game mark on the season. Phillips. Over to Milan McCulloch. McCulloch unable to dump it down, and now Kessel's stretch pass is off to Mark. Anderson throwing it out to Mathot. Mathot. Wake up to Spezza, and now I missed who that was. I think that was Hemsky. Now Spezza comes in offside. Spezza's got a point per game mark so far. He's missed a couple games. 77 games, 79 points. Very good from the captain. Second life for the Leafs comes out. And the draw is won by Kadri. Lupul cuts inside. Takes a shot, and that's stopped. Anderson has been on fire so far. Pass in the middle and rebound. Ooh, almost. Looked like Lupul was trying to go back door to Kadri, but was unable to get there as the pad came out from Anderson. But now Mika has been a shot. Gets destroyed along the boards. Loses his helmet in the process. Now Tim Gleason. Clarkson up to Kadri, who goes up to Lupul. Joffrey Lupul takes a shot, and that's why. Mirkoch dumps it around. Griba. Up to McCarthy who goes in in the middle to Zibanejad. Mika Zibanejad. Into the middle to Bobby Wright who takes a stop shot and that stop by Reimer. A nice stop from Reimer off of the slap shot. And now that was an eventful few minutes there as both goalies face some tough shots. As you see there, Lupo was trying to go back door to Kadri. Kadri just got shoved a bit, and the pad came out from Anderson to stop that cross crease pass. Bowling to take the draw. Defensive zone. Hemsky. Back to Mathot, and the shot is stopped. A big hit along the boards. McCauley goes down hard. Phillips. Back to Mark Mathot. Mathot. Stopping. Goes back over to Phillips. Chris Phillips up to Hemsu now goes up to Spezza Spezza being shoved along the boards Franzen up to up to Raymond excuse me who takes a shot and that stop McCulloch being pressured now Kuhlman Nikolai Kuhlman over to Phaneuf Dion Phaneuf takes a shot and that's why Shocker Hemsky up to Spezza Spezza on the two on the one on one Decides to go into the corner. Spezza with the puck the still. Back to the point. Shot. Takes a shot and that's stop and that's blocked. And excuse me. And now there is a penalty on the play. Spezza's gonna go off two minutes high sticking. Tried to lift Bozak's stick and got him right in the face. Just a blatant call on that one. Right in the chops. Spets is lucky guy. that Bozak didn't start to bleed or else that would have been a four minute. But now the 20th ranked power play in the league, the Toronto power play comes out and Bobby Ryan will dump it straight away. Riley back to get it and he gets destroyed. No to the little Bobby Ryan shot is stopped by Reimer. And Reamsdyke up to Kessel goes now to Kadri. Nazim Kadri back over to Kessel. Kessel takes a shot and that's stopped. Rebound. That was a huge hit. No, boy. 
Will we have a fight? No, Franzen is not electing to fight. That was a huge hit on Eric Griba from Franzen. And now there will be consequential minors. And it will stay a power play for the Leafs. Mika Zibanejad tried fighting Franzen after that huge hit. And then Griba had some few choice words for Kessel in front. But now Zibanejad and Franzen go off two minutes for roughing each. But it will Let say a five on four. Play opportunity. This is going to be the first of the game for them. Bozak loses. Sorry, wins the draw. The draw. Loophole dumps it around. Phillips, Phillips. dumping and enough. Come on, man. He was unable to get the puck there. Loophole taking it himself. Loophole back to Gardner. Gardner takes a quick wrist shot and that stops. And the rebound goes in. Tyler Bozak pokes it from, I believe, Mark Mathot. Yes, Mark Mathot's stick. We'll have to take another look at this. But he just pokes it straight through, and Craig Anderson, not expecting of it, stands up, and it has it go right through his five hole. And Tyler Bozak is 19th of the year from Gardner. Makes this a one to nothing game. We are caught. Dumps it down and that hits his man. That looked painful. Now Eric Griba being pressured and now it's Bozak. Now Van Riemsdyk. And Van Riemsdyk loses the puck. Weirkoch behind the net. Up to Daniel Winnick. Winnick back to Weirkoch. He sauces it up to Condra. Eric Condra hit along the boards but is able to dump it safely. But now Van Riemsdyk up to Bozak. Tyler Bozak over to James Van Riemsdyk. Cuts in, cuts out. Over to Kessler. Oh, what a stop. Craig Anderson robs Phil the Thrill Kessel of getting his 81st point of the year. Oh, my. What a stop. Now, Tim Gleason going to take it himself a slap shot. Not stopped easily. Weird coach. But what a save by Anderson. Oh, wow. Milan McCulloch being pressured by Brennan. TJ Brennan up to Kadri, who goes up to Lupul, and that passes a bit too far. Chris Phillips over to his partner, Mark Mathot, who now goes to Milan McCulloch. McCulloch takes a low shot on goal, and that's stopped by Reimer. Brennan being pressured. McCulloch in front, and that's a nice stop at the end of that period from James Reimer on Jason Spezza. He just robbed him there. Sticking out the pad. A beautiful save. But the Leafs were able to get a bit of a fluky goal there at the end to give them the one to nothing lead. But Reimer's been unstoppable so far. And this save at the end of the period has kept it a one to nothing game. We'll go back here to the third. The Leafs have a 1-0 lead. And Kessel is still searching for those two points to hit the 82-point plateau. Referee is set in the middle. And the puck is dropped. And Bozak loses the drop. Phillips, I believe that is. Up to his winger. And that's stolen by James Van Riemsdyk. And Reeves like tries to cut outside, gets the puck again, tries to take a shot, rebound, and Kes and Bozak, excuse me, was unable to get a clean shot away. Hemsky cutting into the middle, takes a shot, and that's stopped by Reimer. Enough up to Kessel, and Kessel's got a break. Kessel stops, he's got space, takes a shot, and that's stopped by Anderson. Around to Phillips, back around to his partner Mathot, and now up to Milan McCulloch. McCulloch. Being pressured along the sideboards. Spezza being pressured as well and stolen by Bozak over to Lupul. Joffrey Lupul deking around his man and shoots it wide. Maybe he was trying to get the bounce to Clarkson. I'm not sure, but now Bobby Ryan. The former Anaheim Duck being pressured along the side. Bobby Ryan cutting in the middle. Takes a shot and scores! What a goal from Bobby Ryan. A great single effort. Bad defense by the Leafs. Unable to get the puck from Bobby Ryan. His 27th of the year from Mika Zabinajad and Patrick Rierkoch. But a wow, what a wrist shot. From the hash marks, James Reimer really had no chance. 
Bobby Ryan showing his elite scoring talent. And Bobby Ryan's goal makes it a tie game. Boland wins the draw for the Leafs, but Raymond loses it right away. Greening being pressured along the side. Stops. Back over to Joe Corvo. Corvo up to Neal. Neal gets destroyed along the side. But now Greening. Colin Greening. Back to the point. Joe Corvo takes the shot. Rebound is covered up and thrown out by Reimer. Now quick counterattack. Counter Nick Kuhlman. Gonna try to waste time to get a full line change. Kuhlman tries to kick it around. And that's intercepted. But now Lupel with the puck. Back to his point, man. Gardner gets destroyed. And goes back to the point, and Gardner isn't there. Now it's a breakaway. Bobby Ryan takes a shot. That's why. What a turn of events for the Senators. They just got a whole bunch of momentum. Mika Zabinijad back to the point. Phillips takes a low shot, and that's not able to get a tip. Bobby Ryan being pressured by Morgan Riley. In front, Colin Greening. Gardner being, Gardner giving pressure and that's blocked. Mathai, a nice glove save from James Reimer and he covers up. 6.50 left in the third. A huge turn of events as the Ottawa Senators now have all of the momentum. But holy. We'll take another look at that subtle wrist shot. It was more of a snapshot actually, excuse me, a snapshot. But fourth line for the Suns come out, first line for the Leafs. Bozak wins the draw. Dan Rebzak tries to pass it off to Kessel and that's deflected away from him. Weirkoch. Up to Daniel Winnick. Who goes now up to Jim O'Brien who gets destroyed by Dion Phaneuf. And Franzen lost the puck in front of that, and that could have been catastrophe. But luckily stopped by Reimer, covered up. But oh, wow, Jim O'Brien got destroyed. Oh wow, he's going to be seeing stars. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. Fourth line for the Leafs coming out, trying to get some momentum. McClement wins the draw. Colton Orr loses the puck. Phillips, and that's offside, but now... Yes, offside, excuse me. It was a bit of a late whistle. Liffle also looking to continue his point streak, but I think that he would rather have Kessel reach 82 points than continue his four-game point streak to five to end the season. Phil the thrill. Coming up along the right-hand side. Sloan down takes a shot, and that's stopped by Anderson. Anderson has been de denying Kessel this entire game. As Van Riemsdyk has a nice backhand chance in front of the net. Phillips up to Milan McCulloch who gets destroyed along the sideboard by Franzen. Franzen fighting for it. Now Bozak up to fill the thrill. Kessel who enters the zone offside. Barely was JVR offside. But JVR had a very good chance there. Tried sneaking it between the pads of Anderson, but was unable to do so. First line stay up with 141 left in this game. Bozak wants to draw. Enough. Enough looking for Kessel, unable to see him. Turns back around. Back to Franzen. He goes over to JVR and Kessel is unable to get the tip. Phillips up to Hemsky. Hemsky up to McCulloch. Milan McCulloch tries to dump, is unable to do so. 40 seconds left in this game. Clarkson. Tries to take a shot, unable to get it away, and another one. But he got that one away, but it was stopped. First line coming back out for the Leafs after a quick 10 second breather. Mathai stopped. Bobby Ryan. Back to the point. Mathai takes a shot, and that's blocked. Excuse me. Kessel, this is his last chance to get 81. Kessel, wide. Van Riemsdyk. Van Riemsdyk, circling. Still circling. Over to Franzen, and that's off the mark. And Phil, the thrill, Kessel, will not be able to finish the year with 82 points. As with four seconds left, we're headed to overtime. Kessel will finish the year at either 80 points or 81 if he can get a point 
if the Leafs are able to score and get and he gets a point on it. But as he sits right now, he has 81 games played and 80 points. Will Kessel be able to get to 81? We'll find out in the next period. Kessel has been great this year, having 80 points, 33 goals, 47 assists. Will he be able to get 81? We'll find out here today. Bozak Just one loses to the draw. Mathot over to Phillips. Looking he goes ahead. back to Mathot. Excuse me. Mathot being pressured now. Bozak the up to Phil Kessel. Kessel yep. takes it back. And scores! Phil Kessel reaches 34 goals and 81 points. As that ends the Toronto Maple Leafs regular season. They're headed to the playoffs. But who will they face? You'll find out in the next episode as I do a regular season recap with the award ceremony. A bobbly puck ends the Leaf season. As I'd like to thank you for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye. Here's an opportunity to review some of the big plays in this game. And once again, thanks for tuning in, everybody. For Bill Clement, I'm Gary Thorne. We bid you adieu.